Hi and welcome to Project Marlin. Uh, in this video it, uh, we're going to have a look at why the handbrake still doesn't work. Um, but the good news from the last video, <coughs> which wasn't necessarily self-evident, is that the four-way protection valve that we refitted uh, and tried to test um, is actually working um, it's, it's working properly. It's working without any fault. So we're uh, really pleased about that. Next thing on the list with the air system and really the last of the the vehicle based um, air system problems uh, is is working out well the handbrake's not working so we'll uh, we'll get on with the video and we'll have a look. Right so it's a couple of days after the last bit of video that I shot um, it got dark so I headed home. Uh, the electric air compressor struggles to pump the air tanks up fully um, but it does pump enough in so I've had it running this morning a bit you see got a little bit in my auxiliary secondly brake there's just pressure there so i should be seeing it at the handbrake lever um my main brakes are pumped up so i've got the handbrake lever down here what i've discovered because uh, i've now got some information on this that oops down here there's an allen key this is the uh air supply this is exhaust it doesn't need to be connected to anything and that one is the um pressure out to the brake chambers what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Allen key out of here and see if we've got any air leak. Uh, if not, I need to start tracing the pipes underneath. If I have, there's something wrong with this valve. So I don't know if you can hear that on the camera very well, but there's, you see all the dirt blowing about. There's uh, definitely air up to the valve, however, oops, nothing happens there. So that seems to be. When that's vented down, I'm gonna to have to put some new sealant on that. Um, I'm gonna drain the air out of this. I'm gonna take this valve out. Uh, we'll take it apart and have a look, see what's inside it. Uh, well, I say let's have a look, see what's inside it. I'm hoping uh, that this is what's inside it. Um, so I've been sent some Bendix service information, uh, am amongst some other bits and pieces, by a very nice gentleman. Uh, who I will check his name so I don't get his name wrong and, and let you know what uh, who he was but he's been very helpful he sent me some information on some of the older trucks or oh, some other trucks that are very similar to this not the same but similar just give me um, a bit better of idea of how things should be working and uh, he managed to send me um, the service Bendix service book uh, information which this is printed off from which has been absolutely invaluable um it's been brilliant uh the information has been kindly sent to me by mark from arff uh, vehicle support limited um so I spoke to him a little bit over email and and to be honest the guy's been absolutely fantastic uh bearing in mind that his business is coming and fixing these for other people um the the bit of information he's been able to send to me has been, been brilliant so mark if you do see this video thank you so much Okay, so I've taken off the uh, the top housing here. Uh, that was quite easy to do. Well, it would have been if I had the right tools. Um, it was a case of, you see, this piece here is a C clip. Holds that onto the shaft, so that comes off. This piece here, so a C clip, holds the spring in. You take that off, whole lot slides up. There's three screws sit around the outside. Take them off, off it comes. Now I'm going to take these three off, and then hopefully the internals come out. I was going to take the entire valve out of the truck, um, but annoyingly, the the bolts are actually nut and bolt rather than going into a captive holder. Uh, and I'm on my own, and I can't be under the cab and above the cab at the same time. So I'm going to try and take it in place in situ. Part in situ. Uh, it might go terribly wrong, but I keep my fingers crossed. So that's the screws undone. Um, there's a massive spring in there. That's going to be a real fun thing to. Oh, that's. Let's take a look. Um, that's going to be really good fun to um, try and get back together again. Oh, that's a beast. It's, it's squeezable, but it's a bit of a bugger. I might have to get some G clamps over here. Um, yeah, okay. Um, about have another look at this. I'm getting a bit carried away. Let's still get some light in there. This black bit down here. 
is the valve that lets the air into the system. Now it's pushed down and the air comes in. There's a vent out there which I believe is um, goes off to the actual main circuit. You can't quite see it, it's a tiny little hole down there. And this here is the vent, just blasts straight out the bottom. Now that whole thing was completely black in there. Now I'll give you an idea of how bad it is. Now I've taken, come on, focus. I've taken the O-ring off this, but this is the state of the, the valve. This is the one that sits right down, whoop, right down in the bottom of that hole. Um, there's the O-ring off it. That white piece sits on top and then all the springs push on everything. So I'm going, look at the state of that in there. Blah. You give all this a clean up. Um, I will get some air in the system and I will blast some air through that bottom valve without putting anything back in to try and clear any crap out um, up this way. Uh, and then we'll see how it all goes. Refitted the grub screw, a bit of sealant. Compressor's running. Uh, I'm not showing any pressure in the tank yet, but I can hear some. So I can feel a little bit of air coming up there. So, a little push down. Whoa, we've got plenty of air there. Um, right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna give it another quick clean, lube it all up, and put it back together again. Um, right, so you can hear air hissing <laughs> because I've been taking this apart. I've taken the main screws out. They're actually loose. Um, but I put the longer screws in from the top cover just to hold it for a minute. Um, I think I know why it's still not working, because it's not. Um, and more on that in a moment so I've got it off again um, if I push down the spring I'm not sure if I filmed this already but you can hear the brake system charging and if I let it up it's just take the handbrake off so the handbrake system works what doesn't is I've realized looking at the picture this piece here this nice round topping thought it was a bit strange, I didn't understand the point of this. And this weird little spacer that holds the, the spring. Uh, can you see it there? Um, this piece down the bottom here. Uh, that's supposed to be one piece, and it's not. So, <laughs> that, <laughs> that is why my, my, my handbrake doesn't work, is because the actual plunger thing is sheared off. Someone's obviously given it a good old yank and it's been stuck or Oh, I don't know. There's a hell of a spring in there, so... Yeah. Right, I'll take this apart again. So I've had this apart, um, and I'll see if I can get some numbers off it. So I've contacted a, a nice lady at a local uh, truck parts place who's trying to find me um, a handbrake valve, uh, although uh, normal prems say uh, it's totally obsolete, don't make them. This company I've spoken to haven't sold one since 2007, uh, but she's going to try and ring round. Um, also, I've contacted a breakers yard, so if I can get one that's a bit tatty, I can make a good one out of mine and that one, hopefully. So anyway, you might wonder why I'm showing you a picture of a master cylinder or a video. Uh, I'm going to take this one off now. This one I think is probably shot completely inside. I'm going to take it off, take it home, try and match up, or we'll see what condition it's in. See if it's salvageable, match up. Um, I think I found some seals for it, but I need to make sure. So I'll see if I can get some seals for the, and I'll reseal all six of them. And uh, I might have to replace this one, but we'll see. Uh, well, as you can see from the video, uh, we've, um, we've got some problems, <laughs> as usual. Uh, the handbrake valve, I've tried several places, and it's completely obsolete. I uh, can't get a replacement from anywhere. Um, well, can't get a new replacement. I've spoken to a gentleman today uh, who can supply me with a reconditioned unit, uh, which is horrendously expensive, um, but might have to, I might have to, 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 to take him up on his offer. Um, but very, very kindly, he's actually looking and speaking to his suppliers and the people that recondition these valves for him to try to track me down a working or a serviceable piston, uh, uh, the white piece of plastic. So uh, fingers crossed, we might get a uh, part to repair my valve rather than have to put a new valve on it, which would be fantastic. 
Um, had a bit more bad news this morning. Uh, the air dryer, which I think I've mentioned in several videos, uh, that I'd ordered, I'd ordered one from Germany. Um, I found a website that listed them as in stock and, and within Germany, at least deliverable next day. Uh, they finally got back to me today to tell me uh, they don't have one and they can't supply it, uh, which was a bit of a blow. So I'm in the process of trying to get a refund for that because that was also horrendously expensive. Uh, however, through some help on Facebook, uh, again, I believe it was, oh, if I have a very quick look, I think it was Mark again. Um, yeah, so very, very kindly, uh, Mark from ARFF Support uh, is pointing me in the right direction to the for the part numbers. Uh, for the service parts for the air dryer uh, so I've now got a set of purge valves coming uh, or purge, purge, purge valve rebuild kit coming and I've also got uh, a desk and cartridge kit coming so I'll be able to rebuild my air dryer uh, get it back on the truck and uh, it will be a little bit better than using that little compressor that we've got um, so although bad news, good news I've had a bit of both uh, it's the new year, um, got to remain positive at the beginning of the year, um, I'm quite excited about uh, the, the way things are developing. Oh, and before I forget, obviously you've seen in the very last bit of the video, uh, I've taken off one of the master cylinders, uh, because the vehicle's got six of these master cylinders, one for each wheel. Um, I believe I have found a pattern part replacement, if I need them, and I've believe I've also found the seal kits. I need to strip the one down I've, I've got off and, and double check that. Um, so that's something I'll be doing uh, a video in hopefully in the next week. And also, uh, which you haven't seen, is I've taken the light bar off. Now the light bar on the front, uh, four out of the, or three out of the four rotators in there were working, one was stuck. I freed that off, got it working. Uh, there's a bulb gone, one of the inner rotators, which is hard to get to. Um, I need to strip all the front off the, the light bar. And also the central um, clear cover for the spotlights uh, is melted. So I've sent an email today to try and get a parts list for the, the light bar, as it's still in current production. And... Uh, We'll also get a video done showing the, the, the strip down of, of the light bar and uh, replacement of bits. And hopefully we'll try to clean the lenses. I'll try and clean the lenses up that I've got. Um, so that'll be another video that will be coming in the next few weeks uh, with a bit of luck. So anyway, I hope everyone's had a really good new year. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Please click like, subscribe, uh, stick any comments you've got down below. And share this with your friends. And, uh, yeah, once again, Happy New Year, and uh, we'll see you soon.